This is my attempt to do some kind of video diary of uh, the Matswani project here in Botswana. And I'm just trying to get a workflow together. Obviously, it's very busy, very stressful running an NGO day to day. There's uh, always things you've got to be doing running up and down. So I haven't had time yet, despite having some quite nice equipment. You'll see the lavalier mic here and the, the Rode Wireless Go system that I bought um, in Germany to bring along with me. And I just haven't had time to get it all, you know, do all the audio settings and do all the sound checks and everything. But yeah, let me try and see how long it takes to get one of these videos produced because I think a lot of people keep asking me like, you know, what's going on in Botswana? You've been quiet for a very, very long time. Right, so here's the site. Uh, this is in Google Earth Pro. And you can see here, we got north, your, your, your compass rose is up here. So the north is to, to the right of frame. But the reason why we tend to prefer to put this orientation is just because um, this way is downhill. And we want to see the direction that, that the water is going to go in. Um, and this is also, by the way, the way that uh, Jeff Lawton and his team uh, gave us their, their original orientation. So we've just kind of stuck with it uh, out of habit. Okay, and if we zoom out a little bit, you can see a little bit more context. Let me put the orientation back to what we're used to with north at the top of the map. So the road that you use to get to the farm is actually a seasonal stream. The water runs down this way, and this is actually our access. Our gate is here. You drive up this road here, you take a left, here's the gate, and then you drive up onto the current manager's residence here. So if I zoom out, you'll start to get a little bit more context. You'll see that this landscape here is highly disturbed by human activity. There's been many, many attempts at plowing on and off over the years. However, this kind of climate is not really conducive to uh, sort of traditional agricultural methods as we'll talk about in later videos. Then here is the village of Medea. This is the community that we're focused on. It's a small village for Botswana relative to other villages. It's a mining village. It's a mining community. Here you have the Masama coal mine, which is actually bigger than the village itself. And then if we just zoom out a little bit more, you'll start to see the broader context of where we find ourselves. Okay, so here is the main city in Botswana, Habalone. All right, let's zoom out a little bit more. And that is the nation and state of Botswana. So the west we have Namibia, where you have a lot more aridity. You can see that it's a lot drier. Um, um, the stream that actually goes through that you saw actually will kink and then bend around. It will go through South Africa, I think through Zimbabwe and eventually to Mozambique there. So in the video you're about to see, we're going to be doing just a quick tour of the farm to catch up on some of the, the planting that's been going on. So the, the rainy season in Botswana begins roughly in early November or late October and extends through to as far as April. However, the, the main months where rain is active is December, January and February. So the farmers tend to favor planting uh, after the first rain or the large rain event in December. Um, we did actually do some experimentation on planting in some of these swales up here um, and in here uh, early on in November because we did actually get some early rains in, in late, late October and early November. However, then we had a long dry spell of about three or four weeks. Um, and in fact, we've only just recently, uh, today being the 17th of December, we've only recently had a large rain event. So we've decided to start planting. And so we were just taking a tour with Anderson, who is one of our founding directors and the, the permanent staff at Matswani Farm who, who are on site most of the time. And I'm also gonna show you the graphic that you're gonna see in this video. So I made this, this map uh, for the farm assistants and anyone who's, who's helping us just so that we can identify the swales that we're talking about. So these are the swales, they're trenches 2.8 meters wide by about 70 centimeters deep or so. Um, they are built on contour. This is downhill, as I said before. So when the water comes down, these are designed to catch that water. You'll see that in the upcoming video. So far, the swales that have been planted are swales one through seven. 
Swales 8 and 9 south on, on the south side have not been planted because we still need to do more work on this area down here. Um, this area down here was getting the most runoff off the property. We want to try to keep the water on property as much as possible. It had uh, the hardest terrain for the plant hire equipment to navigate across. So we still need to do more manual finessing, as it were, on, on some of that um, that we hope to do in January. There was also this image as well, where you can a little bit more clearly see um, where the elevation is. So the red areas are higher, the green areas are lower, and you can see which direction the water should want to go. Water moves as fast as it can, right angled contour always seeks the lowest possible ground. Um, but because of the shape of the terrain that you'll also see in the upcoming video, you'll notice the sand is very soft. Um, and what that means in practice is that the it can form gullies. It basically, the water starts to shape the land. And you can actually see from some of the contour lines here, the way that it's building this, this gully here is just coming all, it's just flowing all the way down. And that could have been because of uh, for human activity. It could be that people were walking down that gully um, and treading it in, but also more likely it's the open grazing community. So it's the cattle or the goats were seeking out water. So water, like I said, it does actually come down into this this sort of seasonal stream or this donga um, and some of the local farmers have actually built little dams down here they have actually dug those out so the goats the cattle the horses will walk right angled contour they will create these 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 desire lines actually is the technical term they will create these desire lines over time they will form as the cattle come down more and more and then the wa the water will follow them the, they are following the water and then the water follows them. So hope you enjoy the video and thanks very much for watching. Yeah, because it, it was so dry after we planted. Yeah. Oh, it remembers you, he remembers you. <laughs> so not a lot of germination yet. Yeah. But we're expecting germination now that it's raining for real, yeah. right? They're not. They haven't it's rotted in there. Two, one and two. How many months? Already made. How many How old? It's about a month. Mm. We yeah. planted these about a, when when you came up with Susie. Okay. How many weeks? Months? The plants? When we sowed them, when we planted, yeah. about a month ago. Yeah, yeah, almost a month. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Four weeks. About four yeah, weeks ago, yeah. So they've been sat there. But then what we were told was that what the farmers around here do is they wait for the first big rain in December and then they plant, yeah, yeah. which I guess makes a lot of sense. Okay. And then let's go to the next one. The swale doing its job, catching the water. It's really green this time of year. It just explodes. It's a shame that most of these plants are not very high in nutritional density. So that's why we're here to change that. Start bringing back some of the old grapes, the ones that were here a hundred years ago. Okay, oh, look at that. Dips, what is this white stuff? Foam, just foam. That's a lot of water catchment. Yes. Yes. That's the nutrients from further up. But at least they're not on their way to Mozambique. <laughs> at least they stay in Botswana. <laughs> they stay on that Swani farm for now. Yeah. <laughs> they can feed these trees, you know? Okay, but then this side, when did this get planted? It was like maybe three weeks. Yeah. So? I think this, uh, this is Gay's one. No. The one you planted with Kai, no? Or maybe no, I think that was the next one. Uh, I've got a video of it one, so we can. Two, three. Big Big. We were here last time. Where did we start planting? Here or that side? I think that side. I think it was Mike and BK. Yeah. Mike and BK did this yeah. one. Okay, all right. Okay, yeah. And any germination? Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, you can see there. Yeah. Okay, but no maize coming up.
They did maize here as well. Yeah, I think they were doing maize because we didn't have yeah. the sorghum at that time. Maybe but I we've got this written maybe down, maybe right? We have this there. written. How come nothing hmm? is coming? We have it written down what you planted. Piece. Yeah. Piece. Yeah. yeah, and we have it in the group chat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we didn't have the sorghum back then. Okay, and this is the spiky roller. This is the spiky roller. How have you been getting on with it? How have you been getting on with the spiky roller? This one. Is it good? It's too heavy. <laughs> but you're using it. Yeah. Both my tears. It takes two people. Yeah. Oh, you need a donkey on the end of it. Oh, the mud gets stuck to it. Okay, so this one was with the forage sorghum. Yeah. and the cowpea but then you also mixed in some of the maize and the, the cowpea and yeah. Yeah, yeah but not the sunflower nope. and no. then and then you planted this when like yeah. a few days ago yeah oh yeah yeah this was guy i'm sorry yeah so it has not just germinated no so that was about a week ago two weeks ago and maybe the plant here took a whole month huh? well also there wasn't a lot of rain did you plant this with, with guy yes yeah. this was the one we did with guy what happened to the plant? Say? <laughs> what happened? By that time, the, they have not come. Yeah, not come. The they surface was dry. The surface was dry when you pull this roller. That's where some of the seeds were all over the, the surface soil. That's why, right. Yeah. I think some of them were like eaten by those things. You see? Yeah, the guinea fowls. Yeah, guinea fowls and the birds also. came and ate them. Oh, so the, so that the, the seeds are close to the soft. surface. Yeah. Yeah. It's soft, it's so soft, the sand, it's crazy. You're sinking into it as you walk. It's mostly weeds. We've got good water catchment though. It's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. I also suspect that the base the base came after us. The which one? The base. Yeah. 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 Could you come continue? Walking along, alone. This one? This one, yeah. This one, sorry, sorry. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think the birds, the birds feed. Food. The birds are fed, yeah. yeah. The jennifers dig them yeah, out. Yeah. yeah. And they, they just, they'll go along. But they must do this on all the farms, right? What do the farmers do to stop that? Maybe can make some... Why do you call this, that thing? Scarecrow, yeah. scarecrow. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know how to make one of those, Farmer Anderson? You just get a you stick make, and, put make a make and, dolls, and, dolls. and put a you know, shirt. These dolls that make, yeah, you can just put up the something that maybe a jacket. Well, that's your yeah. Christmas project. No, in that's Uganda, it. In Uganda, what they do, they get sticks, like yeah. make a cross and make it wear a jacket. Yeah, a jacket and a sometimes hat. a hat on top. Yeah. 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 Oh, what about the wind here, though? I guess when the wind, wind comes, it just shake like a, it's a human being. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Human being. yeah. Okay, so you but need to make how many of those for four kilometers? Because sometimes you when you find it, things. yeah, keep on find it, stay you like a statue like that. Yeah. Also, yeah. Well, no, it, it thinks the person you, is there, then to run out. change positions. Yeah. yeah. So if you put it here, maybe after two days you move to the other ah, side. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah. get used to it that this thing is already <laughs> there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're not yeah. so stupid when they yeah. see it in the same place every day. They're yeah. like, man, know, we've got just... you. You're not human. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the, the, what do you call not Jennifer, but the, that one that's the brown one square uh, uh me uh, no just a check by the phone I, I forgot the name but that one is, is the that problem bad? that one is that bad no that that's one the one used to from that side that one you see for using this out what do you call mm. Le Sour. Le Sour, yeah, yeah that's Le one bro that's what you guinea for guinea fowl no 
I forget the name, but uh, yesterday I saw. Uh, I'm, I'm oh, you sent me the picture. Yeah, that one sent like this. Mm. Mm. All right, but we should move on because we're yeah. going to lose light. Let's keep going. So the difference in the footwear here, we got flip-flops and we got Wellingtons and we've got trainers. Yeah. The diversity in the footwear. <laughs> More trainers. He's the only one dressed for farm. Yeah, that's true. The rest of you are tourists. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're all tourists here. <laughs> you yeah. A long way yeah. Eventually, we're going to put a footpath on on this side so that you'll just be able to walk along the side of the swale. Yeah. Okay. Number five. Oh. It's also a good time to do some weeding dips. Yeah, but you see that over that abandoned crawl? Yeah. the weeds. I'll start developing through the, the swing. Yeah. And the whole swing next to the. Can you can you take? Well, we might take a look at it if there's enough light. Look at this. Look at this cut. Yeah. That's crazy. But at least it ended up in the swale. Mm. You see, good, like that's good in a way. Yeah. 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 You can follow the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Problems that we keep calling the line very ticky, ticky. No, it's a spiky thing. It doesn't dig deep enough. Yeah. So, that, so you may have to go back to the spade. Yeah. 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 Well, go go back to the spade the, if you. The, um, deep season said that it's the spade is better. Mm. First, the spiky thing is heavy, like no one's business. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then next was yeah. Like you have to replace it. You have to go yeah, in there and replace when it. When it starts to germinate, that's where they dig. Yeah, yeah, that's when they dig. Yeah. Well, that's why the mulch will help because it will hide. These stand out on the on the sand really mm. well. So if you put a layer of mulch yeah. like leaves down, then yeah. the birds won't be able to see them. You see what I mean? Yeah, it's a problem. That page, you know, the farmers are uh, complaining about that page. Can clear the whole farm, mm. two hectares. Others you didn't do six o'clock, five o'clock. Yeah, you have to be yeah. patrolling. <laughs> so, really? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, 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 so, so who's on patrol? No, like Which that. one of you was on patrol this morning? Two, two, two hours back, I was here when the rain stopped. No, you said I, at six, six in the morning. In the morning. You yeah, need to be up. Yeah, we should be uh, chasing uh, because some of them have. Uh, well, you group. have to do it in, in the morning and in, in, the, in the afternoon. Evening. Yeah, yeah. Because but that's one. Even during the day, they come. They come to yeah. the police here. <laughs> Where you have to patrol. Yeah, you know. It's, You've I mean, got to it's patrol. The, the whole but day. you, mister, what's your, what's your, you eat a lot of food. But what do you do? <laughs> yeah, what do you do really, I've been dog? looking innocent. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> what do you do? What do you do? But I'm a good guy. He's a good guy. He's a look at him. He doesn't yeah. even back when we are coming to let you know that you guys, he's, no. He just chills. This one. Good. So the farm got some nice rain and it all stayed here. All stayed here. Which at the very least, even if we don't get great germination on those cover crops, at least it'll be feeding these trees. And then we're gonna plant more trees down that berm to hold that in place with the root system. Right, let's just quickly go down to where we were yesterday, Dips, uh, or the other day, when we were looking at the, yeah. Those uh, uh, north part sewers are longer than the south part. Yes, much longer. More, uh, it's going to take four, you a minute. Four more, three or four, four hundred meters. Yeah. Most of them, but three hundred and eighty is the longest one. Longest one. Yeah. But um, going like this, like which we can now, which we can now with our printout, we can look at it, and we can say that's why yeah. all four. It's the longest one, Swale 4 North. Yeah, I do have It's the longest swale. Yeah, you see. Yeah. This is my footsteps. I was here. You see? I was here. So now we are what? 9, 8, 7. We're on Swale 7. You see? I was here. Aha. And you scared them off? No, I didn't take it again after a while I passed. You mean it took it? Yeah. You weren't up early enough. Also here, it's better. So it went digging. Planted some flower. 
Slow down. Yeah. yeah, but nothing's going to come up that quickly. In fact, what might happen is that these swales that you planted more recently will be the better ones, I think, because they're going to have the most rain, they're going to come up the quickest. Yeah. Or maybe no. not. Or maybe they're the ones that Jenny Falls are going to fist on because they're already doing their job anyway yeah. after a few days of planting. Yeah. Can Okay, let's go down to where the big runoff is because this is going to be a whole job. So Anderson, so two, there are two big jobs coming up. One of which is putting the um, the velt span around the farm. Okay. You see, because when you guys put it, you just put in that barbed wire, but that's not stopping the goats from coming in. Okay. You were using the dogs to police that. <laughs> but the thing is about that... Yeah. yeah, no, some of them just don't care. So Lawrence's goats still come here regularly with that dog, and we find the dog and the goats in the farm, you know. And um, so we need to address that. With 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 a whole velt span going around the whole thing, which is going to cost like fifty thousand or something. You know, it's going to be a bit crazy. But I don't know when we want to do that. I didn't buy yet the all the bonox fencing, but there's a guy who can do it. But if 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 it's it's all it's it's wet, I think it's not ideal to to pull it along. Oh yeah. We wait for the land to be dry, so that when we pull it, they pull it. They don't remove it. The poles. The poles. The poles. Yeah. Unless you, you just buy and keep. Yeah, we can and buy and when, keep. When yeah. when the 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 lender allows us, allow us to do that, then okay. Can apply it. So have you got a dog? What? Have you got a, you? Did you breed dogs, right? Ah, uh, not not really. <laughs> really? Uh, but I have Maltese. I have Maltese. Uh, the, these got... this dog is useless. The one you left us. Hey. <laughs> Your very generous <laughs> donation this to the charity. Yes, always. Always. If you if you go that side, if you go that side, but remain at the base, it's really always biking. Unless you see someone pass by the farm, it's a biking. Is that seat. right? Yeah. yeah no. Oh, okay. All right. So all is yeah. forgiven then. No, that now they know. <laughs> they know what he's doing. All right. Let's go down Swale <laughs> Eight because it's a problem that when the guys were originally digging these swales, they were doing it with local guys because we only wanted to hire local labour. We didn't want to hire, you know, South African companies and stuff. So we hired a guy. And he was kind of doing it as at a bit of a discount, but um, just before he finished the job, another job came up. And so anyway, he was kind of running over time. He needed to take his equipment back. And this part is the hardest terrain. So we're down, we're down at like swale eight, bottom left corner. Um, we're swale, we're going down swale eight. And this is the hardest terrain. This is the part of the farm that sees the most runoff and um, the water collects up a lot of speed before coming here and it has quite a deep gully and so we, we're still losing a bit of water more than I'm comfortable with even though the swales further up are cap you know slowing it down I'd still quite like to capture that water if possible so look at I mean look at this look at this yeah it's crazy the weeds are going crazy but it's all biomass i mean it's it's all good it's good biomass but you need yeah you probably should pull them up and... but do these ones need to be burned yeah they do these need burning i can't remember what the recommendation was some some of them we have to burn them because they're poisonous and you definitely don't want them spreading again but i i need to look it back up on the on the list. Whoa. Yeah, slippery. So, this is it. This is the gully. Oh, it's actually stationary at the moment. Yeah, exactly. The rain can be 200 millimeters. You can't find it. It can be only the 40 millimeters after that. So you see this, it's where it cuts through. This is where it all cuts through, all comes off. And then this is the bottom corner of the property down to the bottom left of the picture. And so, yeah, and you can see it here. And then that's our fence, that's our border fence. And this is where the grader stopped because he was getting stuck as he was doing it and he was having to lift himself out using the bucket on the JCB and then yeah look 
So what Guy was saying when I was talking to him the other day is that what you actually need to do is, um, I can't, can you hold the camera for me and point it? Oh yeah, point that, that's better. So he was saying you should reshape this swale, curve it up like a smile, oh. like that way, mm -hmm. so that it scoops the water. Oh. So the water is going to scoop, because you've also got runoff coming down here as well. So this is where most of the water was running off. That's why it's so deep. Mm, mm, mm. And the grader was having difficulty, or the JCB rather was having difficulty. Mm -hmm. So what um, Guy is recommending is that we make it smile mm -hmm. like that. And it scoops all the water up. Okay. And, and also all of them really should, should scoop a little bit mm -hmm. upwards so that they're not all just draining down. Mm -hmm. And then dig, redig this deeper than the others. So that okay. it, and then so it's deeper here than it is here. So it runs back that way mm -hmm. and settles in here. Okay. Because okay, no. yeah. so much water is coming here. Mm. So much. So that's that's a job that needs to be done. Okay. But it's going to need a foreman mm. on site. See mm. that side. What I just already put on because of this hot crack. Yeah. 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 So we're already doing a good job. Like it's all we're already capturing quite a lot of water. Mm. You could see that, right? Mm -hmm. um, but we can do more. We yeah, can capture yeah. more, okay. and it creates employment for the villagers because we yeah. get to bring them up and into the work, yeah. Yeah, mm. and then over over the years, we're going to keep making more pictures, and we're going to put them up in the in mm. the courthouse and the yeah. cobbler, and yeah. then everyone's going to say, "Oh, look, look at what we did." Yeah, maybe yeah. wherever wherever those things um, intersect, intersect, intersect. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Very good. Wherever they intersect. <laughs> Wherever they do that thing. Yeah. Or maybe they should just dig a hole, a deep one. Oh uh, yeah, a little dam, a check dam or whatever. Yeah, you because can do that. Because sometimes if you can't, swales tend to over, overflow. But if you dig a hole deep enough and also put some of these things, it yeah, can be right. a spiky pit that collects also water. Yeah. Mm. But in a pit like in a in a trench like this, yeah. you also put a little bit of little bits of terraces or or brush so that yes. it slows down the water. Also yeah, yeah it and it decomposes as well. Yeah, yeah, so maybe just saying. Yeah, yeah, no, it's a good idea. We got you. Yeah, it's, it's a good it's idea. It's a good idea indeed. Yeah. Because you're using the speed of the water when yeah. it's pulling from the yeah. side. Yeah. yeah, you dig like little, or maybe you put like little bumps. Yeah. Then you put also brush in the in the middle. Before, like there are two different bumps, you put brush in the middle. Mm. So that it comes, if it overflows, there is brush. Mm. Then it reduces the speed and also it holds some water. Then it flows to the next one. Just saying. Yeah, yeah and I think you think that's a brilliant idea. Yeah, especially this side. Because these things are always going to be in the farm. Mm. These ones, they're yeah. always going to be there. You can't stop them. They're already there. Mm. But and the can't. sand is so soft, and anyway, it's what they're going to keep, yeah. going to keep emerging. All right. So this is a job that needs doing. I think maybe in January. Yeah. Yeah. Um, There's a whole ridge going on. Here. Yeah. Don't, 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 don't step on that. This one. Yeah. Don't one. step on that. You're going to fall in. From here. Go down. You will fall. From the you found this. Yeah. Even some of the, some of the point. The water is then there only for 20 minutes. Tomorrow morning you can't find water. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it finds holes see, and cracks. The level of the was there. That's yeah. you see that. Uh, yeah, yeah, you see the level. Yeah, you can see it. That's the old water hole. And then straight down. Yeah, see that's why you want it. <laughs> well, kind of, yeah. You, I mean, recharging the aquifers is good. But we actually kind of want it for the plants. We have a whole swamp right down here, which I'm very proud of. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think this needs to be re-dug, and I think it needs to flow back. No, I think I think that probably you just have to access the entry point. If this is the entry point. Yeah. Then then because water always finds the lowest point. Mm. Then divert, yeah. because now there are two, two yeah. breakthroughs. Yeah. Actually even the third. So I think that on this other side where the water is flowing we should make it the lowest point. Yeah. Jesus Christ the sand is so soft. Yeah it's very soft. Oh my 
Gives you a workout. Gives those calves a workout. <laughs> no. I don't sweat. No. My body takes a lot. Yeah. I don't sweat. <laughs> so if it's if this is what you call a workout, my body's not having it because I'm not sweating. Yeah. So the calves are still in there. Yeah. Yeah. It's getting late. It's going to be black out in about seven minutes, seven or eight minutes, quarter past seven. It is going to be black. No cement, just sand. Okay. So you're protecting the, the, the layer of the water, the other side. Yes. Soil, so that it doesn't dig. Yes, yeah. yes, because the water, this is in the top swale, swale one south. Mm -hmm. The water's going to run down that road and then it's going to pick up a lot of speed. But then the idea is that instead of going down there, it runs off into these two swales, swales one north, south and north. And, the, and those tyres help take the speed off the water. They yeah. slow the water down yeah. and stop it from cutting into the sand. Mm -hmm. So you're just guiding the water. You're not trying to control it. You're just guiding it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the idea. So we're going to do more of these, more workshops on the tyre. Okay, yeah. And like I said, no cement. And then each berm is designed to take twice the maximum rainfall event that we've seen in the last 10 years, so 200 millimetres mm -hmm. in a 24-hour in a period. Mm -hmm. um, so you won't, hopefully we won't get flooding. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, so let's go back to the home base. Yeah, that is a good point. 18.8 millimetres. Today. Yeah. Today. Yeah. When I was on the phone with you yeah, earlier. Today. Weekly, it was monthly, yearly. We see yearly. Monthly so far is 83.8. Yeah. That's good. That's not bad at all. Yeah. But th this thing's weak. This, this, this thing. I, I, I trust it. Yeah, it's good. I, I, it's I good. My, it's done a good job. During night, around 11, I so said, tomorrow it will be raining. Uh -huh. I say, ah, oh, see, see this, the clouds. Even to, even probably, there's, there's a possibility mm. it will be right tomorrow, maybe. But mm. you see the sign when it's tomorrow, it will be cloudy or sunny. You see, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Even when the humidity is high, that is why you see, you see the temperatures low, the humidity is high. You found uh, it's a high probability of the rainfall. Yeah. It's been what barometer when you made this thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've been a power station. I call it mean power station. Yeah, so it's a good power station. Yeah, it's yeah. a good little weather station. Yeah, weather station. Yeah. All right. Ooh. So, yeah, that was the update today. Did a little tour of the farm and uh, got some maps printed for the farm assistant so that we can all like talk, or even if I'm remote, I'm going. To Uganda for Christmas so I can be able to go on WhatsApp and describe we can all talk about over the same map of where where things are happening honey badger farm Matswani farm <laughs>